The Lady Who Loved Stickball, written by Mel Selublash. Nick tapped the ground with his broomstick. Then he pulled himself back, ready to bat. The small rubber ball came in fast. Nick was ready. He swung and felt the stick hit the ball. He watched for a second as the ball sailed toward the fire escapes. Then he drew the stick, sorry, then he threw the stick and raced for first base. You're out, Allison called. Nick heard Allison, but he kept running. You're out, so Allison shouted again. What are you talking about, Nick said. That was a good hit. You threw the stick, Allison said. You said anybody who throws the stick is out. I only made that rule to make sure no one breaks the stick, Nick said. The stick is okay. Anyway, it's my stick. I still say you are out, Allison shouted. Then she looked at the apartment building next to the first base. She saw the woman in the second floor window. Then Allison called, is he out, Mrs. Davis? All of the players walked over to the apartment building and stood looking up. Nick, Mrs. Davis said, what did you say at the start of the game about the stick? I said anybody who throws a stick is out, Nick answered. But, well then, are you safe or out? asked Mrs. Davis. I guess I'm out, Nick said. I guess so too, Mrs. Davis agreed. Now, get on with the game, kids. That was the way it was. Mrs. Davis was always at her window when Nick and his friends played stickball. They played hard, but they never had any fights. In her own special way, Mrs. Davis made sure of that. Nick remembered one time when they broke a window in the candy store. A fight almost started about who would pay for the window. Stop arguing down there and come over here, Mrs. Davis called to them. The players hurried over to the apartment building. They looked up at Mrs. Davis. Nick told her that Jeff had broken the window with his home run. Why do you think he did that, Mrs. Davis asked. The players laughed at the question. Then Allison said, then Allison said, you watch us play every day. You know all about stickball. You saw he broke that window trying to get a good hit. That's right, Mrs. Davis said. Now suppose Jeff does pay for the window. Next time, he might be worried about breaking another window. He might stop trying to hit the ball so hard. He might never get another hit. And that might, might, and that might start happening to all of you. She looked down at the boys and girls. And then what kind of game would you have? Allison said slowly, I guess we should all pay for the window. Nick and the others agreed. That was the way it was. The stickball players looked to Mrs. Davis at her second floor window for answers. Mrs. Davis always helped them. One day, Nick saw that Mrs. Davis was not at her window. Two days passed and still Nick didn't see her. A neighbor came by one afternoon during a stickball game. Is Mrs. Davis sick? Nick asked the neighbor. She was sick, the neighbor said, but she's better now. How do you know her? She's our friend, Nick said. She watches our stickball game almost every day. The neighbor gasped. I'm surprised you would say a thing like that, he said. He sounded almost angry. What's wrong with what he said, Allison asked. Mrs. Davis had been, has been blind for eight years, the neighbor answered. You shouldn't make fun of her. The news upset the stickball players. No one said a word. Then they began to think of things they could do for Mrs. Davis. Jeff said he would go walking with her. Hank said he would shop for her. Beth said she would read to her. They all felt bad. Then Nick asked, Do you think she wants us to know that she's blind? Maybe not, Allison said. She has always made sure that we played by our rules, Nick said. Now we can play her game by her rules. They all agreed. And when she wants to, she can tell us that she's blind, Allison said. And if she never tells us, then she can see as long as she lives on this street, right? The other stickball players all nodded. That's how it was, and that's how it stayed. <laughs>